got a pretty good tail just about 15 foot, so I figured it's really good to try to hit it up on Big enough that we can set up in and do good. Wait, I see a killing one out tree right there. I set up in it. You gonna set up in that one? Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, you gonna, how are you gonna do it? You wanna kill it? And, Eli is hooked up. Got it here clanking, Coco. Several different ways. What kind of furs you got? Sit this thing in there. All right. So we're going to be talking about this this uh, lightweight hang on today. This is a this is a Novix Hilo. This is the lightest stand they make, littlest stand they make. It's got two Hawk 20 inch sticks. I got a double step aider on one of them. The other one I've got a single single aider. I got my bow hanger here. I've got... What is the advantage of, of the two over the one and why have one on Man, one? Man, it's and... pretty simple for me. I don't like to be dancing around up high. Uh, not that the double step's not safe, but I just don't want to there is a chance you could get your foot hung up in it every now and then. Uh, and for me, if I start off, I'm not scared to set that stick as high as I can. And if I did accidentally, whatever happened to fall, I wouldn't fall nowhere. But the top of my stick would be at eight foot off of a 20 inch stick. And then you just can't beat that. Uh, so I start off with my double step down low and I'll hang it and I'll show you what I do. I'll set it first, I'll get on top of it I'll have my stand on my back and I'll already have my second stick, which is my final stick, in my hand for the ascent. And uh, as I go up this tree, I'll have the stand, the stick ready. I'll set it and I'll start to be, I mean, I'm hunting high at the top of that second stick. I plan for this tree, this is a big post oak. I plan for my stand to be in that top piece of greenery up there for good back cover since we're, we're talking about a practical hunting situation. This uh, season hadn't got here yet, but we're just, we're preparing, talking about gear. So anyways, this little stand, I've got a pack frame on the back. It's got real good straps, chest buckle. I cut up a field, field line backpack from Walmart and made this pack right here. It's got real good cushion and it's half the price of walk-on straps. For me, if I'm gonna go pack around through these hills, this little dude don't weigh nothing. My whole system with my ropes, my saw, stand sticks, aiders, everything weighs 15 pounds. And it's super compact. And I feel like I can climb to the top of this mountain effortless, pretty effortless. Uh, no kidding. So enough talking, let's get up there. I want to start off every time, whether it's daylight dark, I keep the same method every time. I've made a, a shelf out of my pack to where I can pack meat, an additional bag, clothes, layering, whatever. Shelf sits 90 degrees by a piece of paracord around the, around this little button. I just pop that off first and foremost. And then I come in here, I've got two night eyes gear ties and they're stationary on my stand. When I get up, I just push them, push them back like this right here. Don't trip over them. Don't even notice that they're there. It's just the best 
best little method that I've found to attach sticks, keeping it simple in the dark and keeping it quiet. Nothing on my stand bangs and clangs. My climber used to bang and clang. That quiet is precious. It is. Every time my climber used to cling, I was like, gosh dang, man. I may not kill that deer now. And yeah, I always, I always feel like for every, for every noise you make, you got an extra hour sitting. That's exactly right. And this right here, I can go in even in the dark with just a headlight or hunting that gray light time, you know, right at daylight, sneak in at daylight, especially if you're on limited time. And uh, I pack it the same every time. I know what it's going to do. It's pretty simple. Uh, I made this homemade double step aider out of am steel. It buys me a lot of length. It saves the it saves carrying extra sticks, which is what I'm all about. Not that I can't physically carry them. There's no need in these mountains to carry a bunch of weight you don't need. You're getting hot and sweaty early season. So that right there is locked in tight. I just throw that back there so it ain't flopping around. And I'll go ahead and get my second stick ready. These are all homemade. This is a homemade 20 inch aider, a uh, piece of hose, 550 cord. And then this is Amsteel that's holding it to the tree. Uh, Amsteel daisy chains, had a guy make them for me. They've worked super good. I used these all last season, never had any complaints at all. So get into it, it's real simple. Pop up, just climb it just like a ladder. I don't use a, they sticks lock in super tight. I trust my life on these little daisy chains. Uh, and my aiders, they work really good. They stick super solid. I'm hunting high. I'm two sticks high. But my two sticks, essentially, I've got 100 inches of stick, which is the equivalent of carrying five sticks. Now that I've got up here, I've got this big chunk of greenery. Uh, this is where I've decided to hunt for the evening. Show you how to set this stand up. It's real simple. You can do it right. And this stand's so little, you can just throw it around like nothing. Stand don't use a ratchet strap. It's uh, got a cam buckle. We're going to use the tow hook method to fasten this stand to the tree, which is a pretty neat way of doing it. I see a lot of guys that's got these style stands, and they're still using ratchet straps because they don't. I don't know if they don't trust it or don't know, but you can't get a more stout way to fasten a stand. Is this right here? And at this point. I'll go ahead and put my put my little harness on. It ain't much, but it's just enough to save my life, which is about all I want in one. Run it through the tree. I got a tie-dyed knot in there. Run her up. that point, flip into it, I've got a swap ball hitch tied, it's just a, it's a little friction knot, you can just pull this tag in, you send up the tree, you can't fall back, it's pretty simple. So at this point, go ahead and set into my stand, and uh, now I'm up, I'm in the stand, stand ain't tight though, what you do is you're going to put your knee firmly into this seat, and pick up and use this stand like a lever. And uh, holding on to the tree with your right hand, knee in the stand, you're just going to cam that stand down. And you're going to see those teeth, they drop down about that far when you, when you really lever that dude down. And you're making that thing so solid. So now I'm up, tied off back here, I can't fall. And I'm hunting. I've got my bow. If I was in a hunting situation, 
I would leave my bow at the bottom of the tree, set this. Once I get my stand hung, I just go back down because it don't take an extra 45 seconds for me to climb down, get my bow, and come back up. I've made this bow, bow hanger on my stand to eliminate the need of this to this. Real simple, a lot less movement to get away with. Uh, I'm probably, what do you think, Tommy? 15, 17 yep. foot? 15, 17 feet. And, Plenty. Uh, this is going to this is gonna make it tougher for a deer to seal at me. I'm busted up in this cover. And this, I'm planning on the deer coming from this way, you know, this this area here. And this stand that I'm in, though, I can shoot. Really, I can shoot all the way around the tree. Uh, they say that the, the saddle hunting, you know, that it's the big hop right now. It used to be big, and it's big again. Uh, they say you can shoot 360 on the trees, what they claim. I can't. I bought two of the best, supposed to be the best saddle systems around. I can't shoot 360. I can shoot more like 260 uh, around the tree. I cannot shoot this area in my saddle. Uh, I actually traded a tethered phantom for this stand. Uh, for this stand is brand new. So if I was in, if I was hunting in a saddle, I'd let this off just a little bit. Uh, of course, I know this ain't a saddle, but it's close enough to tell you how a saddle works. You spin around, you use your feet on the platform. This all over here was pretty easy, and I could shoot it real easy. But on that small platform, I could not spin around and shoot from my six o'clock, probably to my two o'clock. That was just a dead space. I got busted by deer. I actually got busted just up this ridge by a deer. I could not shoot that deer. Uh, I got frustrated. I tried to spin all the way around the tree couldn't make it happen. Uh, some guy stole the rope over their shoulder. It's just, I don't like it. This right here is my method. Uh, and it's gonna be my method for a long time. This little stand's lightweight. I can shoot all the way around in this dude. Of course, I don't have to stand up to shoot any of this front area. But if I wanna shoot this back area, limited movement, I can just pick that seat up and I can turn just a little bit and pull my bow back. And I can shoot a buck eating underneath that post oak right there. And with the same little bit of movement, I can shoot that buck eating at that post oak right there. So that's 360 degrees, and this tree's a good bit better than a basketball. I guess if you was hunting a redwood, you probably couldn't shoot all the way around a tree, but <laughs> I don't hunt a tree that big. In the mountains, this is a pretty good-sized tree. Uh, I, I feel comfortable hunting a tree this big with this kind of cover. This stand's got a seat level and bracket. You can adjust your seat, and you can adjust the platform with these little notches here. Uh, I got some paracord on the front. It, it lets me feel the, the deck of the stand real well. It's just a really neat little system for, uh, for getting back in here and hunting this public land real mobile. Uh, it allows me to walk and have the confidence to walk a long ways and know that when I get there, it don't matter the tree. I can... I can make it happen with this stand. And confidence is definitely key uh, in a hunting situation. Lightweight, everything's good. What about the process of taking it down? The process of taking it down is... I know a lot of times that I'll, I'll, I'll be in a stand and I'll have some deer that are fed out of shooting range. You bet. And bed down and you run out of shooting light and I want to get it out of without messing these deer up. Is it just as quiet getting down? It, it's quiet getting down. You may still, you know, you could always bust a deer, uh, but at least they ain't gonna hear a bunch of banging and clanging when you're getting down. This is, I kind of walk you through. So if it's gotten dark on me and I've had a, whatever, I've had an unsuccessful, successful hunt either way, I'll go ahead and put my bow on my back and I'll take that bow down. I'll set the bow down uh, just cause that's what I like to do, it's fast. And uh, my little system here for how I ascend and descend really about the same, I'll, I'll clip my, Put my little harness around my belly, wrap it around. And this is pretty simple, this little harness, but it'll save you life, so that's, that's really all I need. I don't plan on falling out of a tree. I think I'm pretty agile. Yeah, but agile people die out of tree stands all the time. I ain't saying that. So, let's see. Let me go ahead and raise your dude up. If I was having, if I had some deer that was bedded on me, 
I would be doing this with extreme caution just to keep from blowing them out of the area. But this little stand, I mean, the way I've got it rigged up, I don't have any metal on metal contact. As you can see, my platform, I've got it paracorded. Uh, everything that I thought would be metal on metal contact, I pretty much eliminated. I've, I've got it, what I feel like, it's just nearly down to science. Nah, I got this right here to where it, it makes a little shelf. So I'll go ahead and put that shelf back together. And when it goes together, it's super quiet. And all right, now we're going down. So I would probably wear a little headlight coming down. You get down, you just pop your stick up. Up around a tree. I always buckle everything on the ground. That way I'm not messing around up high. Uh, run my foot right down into my first stator. On these double steps, it's super important that you you put that aider in the a, in a heel of your foot and put that toe against that tree. That way that dude can't rock on you. And uh, getting that first one, get down and get your second one, top down. We're still quiet. And they're still sleeping. And uh, as far as for me, what I do is on my, on my double step here, I just wrap this around this am steel. It don't knot up or nothing. Uh, I just want to wrap this around pretty good. Get it pretty neat. And then wrap my daisy chain back around through it. Give it a few wraps. And then just find somewhere to find me somewhere just to push it in. Makes a neat little package. It's real lightweight. And stupid light. That's 60 inches worth of stick and a 20 inch stick. So I set that one on the ground. I set this one. I come up with this aider design. Uh, it's 550 paracord on these little hawks. This works on any stick that folds up. You can take and tie you a fixed knot on the bottom, tie it around your standoff. And this is a 20 inch stick, so this is a 20 inch aider. Uh, Set it where it gets tight, round up there to that notch, and it sets tight. And you, at that point, you can go ahead and uh, fold your stick up. Get this dude all nice and situated. Good package. Set it on the ground. My deer's still feeding, I'm still happy. Bring it down here. And literally, this stand is quiet. There's, I can say, I've pretty much eliminated any, any noise. And uh, another reason for this paracord on the front of my platform, it keeps this metal from rubbing this metal. It runs in there, sits nice and neat. Like I say, these fixed night eyes gear ties, they don't gotta worry about where they're at. I know where they're at. They're sitting there and I use the stick to fold the cable down. So it kind of double functions. It's real simple. Pull that back out, set this in. It locks in. I don't know if you can get that on your video there, Tom, but this, see this, uh, this Versa button sits in this channel and it locks that stick in there. Sits. I don't know if you can see how streamlined that is, but it's, it's very streamlined. Get my cables kind of situated nice and neat. It don't take a whole lot of pressure on those night eyes to, uh, really tighten that up. Now you can see, I mean, you talk about packability. That dude is lightweight. Go ahead and throw my stand on my back. And uh, that was all instruction. I was trying to kind of be, be quiet and walk you through my system. I can get up a tree in four, four and a half minutes. I can climb down about four, four and a half minutes. Uh, if I'm hunting, you know, time, especially you get off work and you got an hour to kill, you don't want to be jacking with your system. Uh, this is just pretty simple. Get you in, get you out and kill deer and you've got that shelf if you want to kill a big deer you can take and quarter that dude up keep you a little bit of rope keep it in that bag tie that meat up tie that head up you're gone you're on to the next one so it's pretty simple
Yep. There's Corey's, Corey's working the bugs out on his system. I've got getting it where he wants it. I ain't got mine. As, as refined as Gage's got his on here. I've got well, two stands on there. We'll put those on there. As soon as we leave hey here. Hey guys, this, this right here is a perfect, his is a, a tow hook stand. Mine is not, it doesn't, it doesn't touch the tree down here. It's just on my, my main pedestal. And so at full draw, or at full platforming, mine moves. So I have to use a ratchet strap on mine to get it tight enough to be comfortable. But you also have to fight the ratchet strap. There's the, there's the advantage right there. Now One advantage. Still perfectly safe. Now, I'm not dogging. I, I love this stand. This stand's really, really light. Bigger platform, decent stand. But it's just not a tow hook style. Then I heard, heard a little bit of racket there a while ago when you raised it too. Yeah. See, like that, that ain't right. And this will, there's, there's noise being made with this kind of stand. You've got to be more careful. What's that racket do? Not working. And this is why you fiddle with stuff. You want to find your crest right now, though. Yeah. I'm okay, tired stuff. anymore. Don't want me doing this. Yeah. Stuff like this and make an old man daydream and, and wish. Definitely, a, I, I think, probably a young man's game. I mean, I, I see there's. There's a lot of older hunters that, that aren't sporting as much in the midsection as I am. They'd probably be all right. But I definitely see the advantage of this system. Ten years, ten years ago, I'd had one. Guarantee you. You can leave the truck with just exploring on your mind, with standing on your back and Instead of marking a spot and coming back to it with your stand, you have it on your back and put it up. And you can literally grab your bow in your left hand and take off scouting. And you find the spot you're hunting. Literally be on your seat mm -hmm. in the tree quicker than you would be with a climber. Yep. And you're getting down so much faster and quieter too. Very, very cool setup. Well, this has been here's another little outside little, our lane adventure video. You go here. It's another little gauge thing on your Amstel daisy chains or any kind of strap you got. You got a little piece of bungee on there with a little piece of bent copper wires, all of this. Hook that joker back in your stick. She's tight, ain't going nowhere. Little bitty huh. gauge George special there. I like it. Y'all hit the like and subscribe. We'll see you later.